Who's the uh, number one team in the NFL right now, you think? The Lions are in the conversation. You guys are in it. Like, you guys are in Are we? <laughs> wow, this, why, this, why, why are you cheating so hard? Why are you cheating so hard? A that, lot, that, that made you smile. It, it just sounded a lot different. <laughs> like, a, that made you like smile. a few weeks ago, it sounded a lot different. What's up, guys? It's the St. Brown Brothers. We're back with another episode. Um, here to talk ball. Um, maybe some stuff outside the ball. I know you guys, we said we we're going to have J-Mo on this podcast, on this episode. Things kind of, his schedule got busy, um, but we will get him on. We promise we will get J-Mo on this, on this podcast sooner rather than later. So just trust us. Trust me. That's my job. You know, my brother's not going to get him on that podcast. It's going to be me. So we're, I'm going to get him on. Trust me. Typical lines, um, typical lines. But let's get right into it. You know, let's talk about how are you feeling. First of all, I know you're on IR. Um, yeah. I know it's a four week, what's four week minimum? Yeah, four weeks. I, you know, knock on wood, I've never been on IR. But how do like how does that work for you? The, your schedule, everything. Um. So they put me on before the last game. So I think they put me on Friday or Saturday. I think Friday. Um. But yeah, I had a strain in my hamstring during the Washington game. Shit, Washington game. Um. During the punt prep. But, um, yeah, today I did a little check, and they said, like, it's healing pretty fast because my strength is almost back. Um, but my schedule is a little different. Like, I have extra rehab, extra workouts than the team does. And then they'll work me into practice, I don't know when, probably, like, in three weeks, whatever it is. And then hopefully they have to declare you ready to come back whenever that week is up, the fourth week is up, so... Um, I think I'm ahead of schedule, so I think I should be back in those four weeks because sometimes I think people don't make it, but I think I'll be good. When, when do we play you guys? Do you know what week? You, you, you'll be back by then? Yeah. 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 Is it after my – we play you twice. I don't know. Wait, you're talking about – let me see. I think we play you November before Thanksgiving. Um, yeah, November 19th. Is that in Chicago? So that one, two, wait, one, two, three, four. I'll be back with then, yeah. No, that's, that's at your place. November 19th is at your place. And then after my bye week, we play you guys December 10th. Well, bro, it's going to be so cold. That's all, you know, that's no, no. like really our only cold game of the year. Dude, we have so many cold games. We have we have that game. So after we play you guys, we play at Minnesota, and then we have bye week. We come back, home game, at Cleveland cold, home home, at Green Bay. So our last five games are going to be cold. Fuck. Bro. Anyways, but yeah. Um, so that's where I'm at currently. Um, let's talk about Vikings Bears. We clearly lost. Um, another close game. Yeah, what happened? Run me through that gap. I saw only saw a little bit. Um, I was warming up at much. first. First, it was back and forth, back and forth, field goal, field goal, field goal, field goal. It was like nine six at one point. Like it was just field goals and field goals. Um, we couldn't score. They couldn't score. But we were driving. They were kind of driving, and then, um. We got we got one, we got another turnover that got called back. We clearly recovered the ball inbounds, and for some reason they said it was out of bounds. So that would have been our ball in like their territory in our plus territory. Didn't get that one. Bad call by the refs, which I think they should get fined for bad calls. It would knock some of the shit out. Um, and then we got a pick, and then we threw a pick right after that. So we got a pick in our in our like plus territory. Then we threw a pick that same drive, and then. They got Justin like a, got hurt, right? Yeah, Justin got hurt. Um, so he came out the game. And then Who's your broke. backup? Does he have tattoos everywhere? Is that what I saw? Yes, but he's cold though. Like, what's he his has, name? Uh, Tyson. He has. A, is um, he? Uh, he, did he go to D two? Yeah, he's a record for most passing, I think, yards ever or touchdowns. I don't know. I think college. he played. Where's he from? Like, what? What did he? I don't know what school he went to, but he's from like West Virginia or Virginia. I think somewhere. Craig's uh, Craig School Kutztown played him. What do you say? College, but uh, Craig wasn't there, but um, oh. I think he played against his, his team. Yeah, no, he's been doing good since camp. So he came in, you know, he's looking good. And then he got a sack fumbled and they took it to the crib for a touchdown. And then we drove down and then he we drove, he drove down. We, uh, we he, and he, drew, he scored on a QB sneak. And then um, we got the ball back to score a touchdown to win the game. And 
he kind of got hit. I just thrown it into a pick, and uh, they got the ball, and then they four minute drilled us, and just took a knee. So well, that's kind of the Q Harry was on the Vikings, right? Yeah. So I saw him. I, I laid. The, I, I wasn't going to go out for pregame, but I just went out just to see him, and saw him after the game. So it was good to see him. He was one of my better friends from last year. So glad what to see him doing well. He was happy to be back. Yeah, he's you know he's always happy. he's one of those guys that's always happy, always smiling. You know, it's always great energy to have around. So it was good to see him. You know, catch did he, a little did bit. Did he play? I saw him on kickoff return. I don't think he played any offense because I was watching for him. You know, it's hard to miss him. He's pretty big. Um, but yeah, I saw him kick, kickoff return. Hey, how much do you think? How much do you think, do you think refs get paid? I just thought of that. I don't know, but did you know that some of them? That's not even their, their main job. Yeah, we do. We have like a officials report. Do you guys do that every week? Yeah, we have like, an officials report, and like they all have. Yeah, it's like a side job. Yeah, like because you can't do. This? You can't be a ref your whole bro. It's only half a year. I know, but like you gotta take that shit serious. Like this is like they do. It's just they, half the year. Like that's like saying, oh, bro, we we work half the year too. Yeah, but it's our only job. So yeah, pay them more because we, we can make an. I don't know. How, like I said, I don't know how much they make, but they work just as many games we do. Probably they probably have bye week. I don't know their schedules, but they should pay them more, and then they should they should definitely find them for bad calls. I promise you, they'll make the right calls. Do you feel like the fine, uh, fines hurt? The fines certain hurt. crews, I feel like throw throw more flags than others. Boy, that's yeah, they, they, they give the reports like what they're like. You know, I yeah, know. Um, like there's certain now after playing a few years, like there's certain rest where I'm like. Bro, yeah. he throws flat. I don't. I just know his face. Like he, <laughs> he's looking, he looks like it. Like yeah. John Hussey, our guy uh, that we've known. He's yeah. Bro, I love him. Server, server guy. guy. He's a server he's, guy. He's not a, not my day guy. No, he's not. Yeah, server guy. He went to serve it. His son went. My son. Class. He did. Yeah, serve guy. He might have. I don't know. I think he had. He had his Chiefs game. He might have. Um, Who knows? He, knows he, always says, he always says what's up to me. I say what's up. You know. Might How do you know? Him. You, you don't know call him. Or two. You don't know him. What do you mean? I don't know him. I know him. Bro, I don't from where? What do you mean? He's been. He's repped a lot of our games. Yeah, but you didn't. You never met him while you were a survey. You don't know who he is. Like yeah, I'm I didn't mean by survey, but I know him through. He through says, me. "Say what's me. up to your dad." I'm like, yeah. "My you know Papa told me. me about him." Like, what do you you're mean? welcome. Well, you remember seeing him at survey? Yes, his son was on my team. He's my class. So what did what did he do at survey? He came to watch the games. Like, what did yes, you say? watch the games. Yes, you don't remember. It's like a camp. I do. Okay. Anyways, run me through your um your game. I seen a lot of clips about your touchdown, and I seen you know Craig with the block. It was a it was a good game. You know, the, first of all, we got they got the cream score jersey, so we're like you know I feel like bro the Lions. Who do we play? I feel like we play teams when they break out their jerseys. Do you feel like do you have those? Do you feel like that too? No. Like. I don't think it was the year last year we might have played someone, but whatever. They they're in their creamsicles. They got the whole like theme too, like on the field, like everything's the color. Um, the jerseys were nice. I'm gonna be honest, the jerseys were nice, but I thought they were gonna be better. I don't know why. I just thought they were gonna be nicer, but they they were nice. I just feel like there was something missing. I don't know what it is. I kept my finger on it, but um, they had a good defense. We knew going into it they were gonna have a good defense. Um, run, you know, we couldn't really run the ball all game. I'm gonna be honest. Um, they did a good job stopping the run, but we were able to throw it. Um, shoot, first drive, I think we didn't get three now. We got our first down, and they ended up stopping us eventually. We get, you know, punted it back, kept punting it back and forth. We ended up getting three points because we got a pick on, like, what, the 20-yard line. We couldn't get it in the end zone, so we kicked the field goal, settled. And then I scored, um, like, before the half. Um, they were sending hella pressure, like, I don't know if you play Tampa, right? Yeah, no, but the, talk about the Vikings, they blitz 75% of the time. They blitz us like crazy. Yeah, so does Tampa. Thing. Tampa was blitzing us like crazy, so. Like first play, cover zero. Just And then third down, second down too, they were just manning us up. I was like, bro, they're, like when a team mans, I feel like when a team mans you up, it's so disrespectful. It is. Like, it's disrespectful. Like they think you can't yeah. get open. Like, yeah. I'm like, bro, we got to, I was like, bro, we just run some simple stuff we're gonna we'll route these dudes up but nah they were manning us up um so we got got to our check we got to hella checks throughout the game but we got to one of our checks um i basically ran like a little choice route broke in jared threw it and you know they teach us knife i don't know if they teach you guys that i probably do we do a bunch of drills catch a knife catch a knife catch a <laughs> turn off field, catch a knife whatever and i had one against the chiefs the first game i caught a choice route and i caught it 
And the angle, if I would have just stayed on the angle that I was on, when I caught it, I would have like, you know, I wouldn't have given the safety read a chance to catch up. But like I caught it and knifed, and as I knifed, he was able to like I literally yeah. ran into him. Yeah. And um, I was like, man, I don't know. Like I know catching and knifing is the right thing to do, but certain scenarios like you got to play ball. So I caught it and I was like, it was like third and thirteen. I'm like. Bro, I can knife it here or I can just keep running. I'm like, bro, let me just keep running. So I cut across the field. The linebacker kind of like falls, so I'm not worried about him. But I see this the corner, 24. He's just sitting right there. I'm like, fuck, he's going to tackle me. And then I just see, like, I saw a body. Out, I don't know who it was. I just saw, like, a body out the right right side of my view. I'm like, bro. I, like, point to block him. And then Craig comes out of nowhere, smack. I didn't know how hard he hit him until I saw it. But he hit him. I'm like, damn. I turn the corner. It's like. Just me in the sideline, the end zone. So I'm running, and I just see, I think it was 31. Winfield comes out of nowhere to get my legs. I jump a little to get out of it and score. Um, but it was – Craig's block was chef's kiss. Um, credit to him, man. He's He does everything right. He's just a grinder. That's the type of player he is, you know. Going to get his depth on his routes. Um, <laughs> fucking landmark on his – on his wide zone, it's going to be perfect. He's going to push it for four yards, then cut up. Like, that's the kind of player Craig is. Um, I tell him, man, loosen up, bro. Be you. But, no, nah, that's him. He's going to do, you know, everything right. And we teach, like, block after the catch. We were, te- we were so – they were teaching it all spring. Um, even still, we still teach it. We harp on it because, like I said, those plays that I feel like you catch at 15, 10 yards, you have guys that block downfield. Like, bro, I feel like as a receiver, like, as a blocker, there's nothing better, like, there isn't. You don't have to work for it. Like, bro, he literally made the play happen. All I had to do was really run. So, I hats off to Craig, man. Um, I told him a thousand times. I don't think there's any player that's gotten more pub off a block than Craig has on this block. Like, this dude tell, is telling why is me. It? Bro, why is that? Bro, he's telling me his my Instagram's blowing up. I'm getting this, that, and the other. But I heard like, you on him earlier. He just scored the first – bro, he just scored the first time ever last week. His first uh-huh. touchdown ever. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Like, in the NFL, we were all super happy for him. Like, monumental time for him. Craig Reynolds scores his first touchdown. And it's just like, all right, whatever. You know, he scores his first touchdown. He gets makes his block, though, and his, his whole life has changed. Like, everyone is on his, you know what? Like, bro, he just scored the other week. Like, he can't get no love on a touchdown? I'm like, bro, Craig, it'd be like that, bro. Why you think it blew? Why you think? Why you think it blew up so much? I don't know. I don't know. Was, I don't know if what, what were you telling him? What were you telling I him? Know, I don't know if because Saint was carrying the rock or what, but oh, okay, okay. Craig, you keep laying blocks like that, you might be all over media. You might be on NFL Good Morning, or Good Morning Football, ESPN Top Ten. Um, just keep doing everything right, Craig. That's my message to you. I love you, dog. Just keep doing everything right, man. Play by the book because that's what you do. You play by the rules. Um, you don't do shit. You don't waver. So play by the rules and keep doing it. But that's my dog, Craig. Um, but nah, we end up, like I said, they had a good defense. We couldn't really run it. Uh, speaking of Craig, we had a David went down. Like on a, what was it? Second quarter, he went down, hurt his rib. Craig came in and we had, um, we like went into empty and we had like they were blitzing. So we checked it to like a receiver screen. And usually it's the receivers that run in. When we run our receiver screens, like, I feel like we never really get the open, like, the perfect look. You know what I mean? Like, we run a we lot. Never, we, never we never do either. Look. We never do either. Bro, he calls, it, he calls it to Craig. I'm like, no way. So, I'm like, well, I, don't, I look at Marvin. I'm like, oh, shoot. All right. So, Craig runs the, the receiver screen. He busts. Gets, like, 28 yards. I'm like, oh, <laughs> shit. Um, Loki, my fault. Why he got tackled? He probably would have got ran down from the oh, other guy. That's but a, That's a minus. My guy tackled him, which is not a good look. Uh, I already, you know, I apologize for that. But Craig, like, bro, you made me, that block like, for you. That's crazy. It is part of like the Red Sea. I'm like, bro, we've never had that receiver. Like, he's. It must be nice, Craig, to get that. And the ball got tipped too. The D line like, had his hands up and like right through his hands. I'm like, damn. And then yeah, we had the, Craig had a great, uh, great catch on that. Then Jamo had his his first touch on the year, uh, which was huge for us. We needed it bad. I even told him, like, bro, be ready. Because on the sideline, he was like, bro, I don't have any targets here. I'm like, bro, just be ready. The time, like, you, you know when you have a receiver, like, you don't have no targets. The time you don't think is coming, is coming. Yeah, you better be the, ready for it. It's tough, too. I tough. told him that, and sure enough, bro, 
play that we needed. He threw it. Jared chucked it up. I'm like, bro, who's he throwing this to? I'm like, oh, shit, he's open. Oh, I'm like, wait, I'll just catch it, Jam. We'll just catch it. And like, it looked like he bobbled it because he hit the ground hard. I'm like, oh, fuck. And yeah, then he, he smacked his head. head. He smacked his head hard as shit. Like yeah, that. he ended up catching it. He was lit. But I got to tell Jemo, Jemo, can you just celebrate with one of us, please? Like, every you time do? you score, he just runs. Like, he's running across the field, outside the back of the end zone, to the sideline. Like, you can't celebrate with his teammates. Like, you can't show us no love. Man, we could have we could have asked him personally if he would have showed up today, but I guess he didn't want to. Why did he want to show up? I don't know. We could ask him. He'll be he, here. Don't worry. Okay. Jim okay. will be on a, on an episode. You guys yeah. better stay tuned. I promise. Yeah. But um, now um, we came out with another dub. Wrap it up. Wrap it up. Five and one. You, you, there's not much to talk about your game. Just not right, very just, fun. Just wrap it up. It's not very fun to talk about your just game. Wrap, just I, wrap I know. It up. I know it's how it is. Just, it's long. Wrap it, up. wrap it up. I have a lot right. to say about our game. You don't have much to say. It's not very fun being in your position. What are you guys? One and five? Or I don't I don't even know. Is it one and five? Yeah. So um great team win. Fans showing out. I feel bad for you guys when we play when we play the Bears in Chicago. I hope your fans show up. Because if not, it's going to be a blue sea again. Our fans are moving different. They're traveling, I swear to God to me. Their first drive, third down, Baker Mayfield. I'm like, bro, we're at home. Like, you see Mike Evans looking left and right. Like, they can't hear. I'm like, holy shit. Bro, this is I crazy. you know you guys have never been good. That, that one good season you guys have is like, there, there's... Don't let us come to Chicago but we're not um, worried about your fans, bro. I'll tell you that right now. We're okay. Your well, just your fans better keep showing up. I'll tell you that right now. If you haven't heard, it's fresh face fall, and nobody else can give your face the love it needs other than our friends at Manscaped. Uh, the folks who change below your belt are here to help with their brand new handyman electric face shaver. Designed to give your face that smooth finish without the mess of a wet shave, it's the perfect tool for men with all beard lengths. Now, I don't have a full beard. I just have, you know... I'm still working on that. I just got the little goatee, got a little mustache. Um, but I actually, you know, trim, I trim my goatee. I don't like it when it's too long. Um, so the, the manscape is perfect because it actually has a different guard for different lengths. Um, so there's this one guard that's, you know, the perfect length for me, actually. Uh, so once it's getting out, even right now, it's kind of long for my liking. Uh, so I should probably pretty soon in the next, you know, few days, probably before the game, though, make sure it's fresh after I get a cut or something. Um, you know, go over with my with my razor, make sure it's trimmed right, and I'll be looking fresh for the game. Head over to manscaped.com and use code Brown Bros for 20% off and free shipping. Don't be a bad apple this year. Choose Manscaped. Um, your face is the first thing people see in the morning, so make sure you use Manscaped to look good, to look your best. Um, a first impression is always the best impression, and it's one that lasts, and that's what people remember. So make sure um, you use Manscaped to look your best at all times. Um, I'm due for another touch up here soon. I'll probably do it this weekend. Um, but yeah, and for all my fellas in a little more scuff, with a little more scuff, use Manscaped uh, Beard Hedger Pro Kit that has everything you need to, um, you know, shave your face and keep it just how you want it. Um, whether you like a little bit more, a little bit less, um, it has everything you need. Um, featuring their signature Beard Hedger, uh, this cordless trimmer has a rotary wheel that gives you 20 hair cutting lengths all with one guard. So no more messy drawers, no more messy drawers, full of extra add-ons. Get 20% off and free shipping with the code Brown Bros at manscaped.com. That's 20% off with free shipping at manscaped.com and use code Brown Bros. Hit the refresh button with the handyman. A lot of people, you know, tell me, your brother, bro, he's a good blocker. Are you, are you actually a good blocker? I am. Are you better than yes. me, you think? As a blocker? Yeah, I mean, it's just, Blocking is what what good. makes you what makes you a good blocker? I think my will. I don't know. I just I don't I I hate when my guy makes a tackle. Like that's like a fucking shitty feeling for me. Do you it's think like, you could block me like if I was out there? Easy, bro. I'm and I'm like two twenty right now. I know you see my Snapchat. But naked two I'm big as shit. You're not huff. You're skinny. Bro. <sighs> you see that shit poking through the fucking anyways. Um but yeah, um I hate when my guy makes a tackle. That's one thing I hate. Like that dropping the ball, or like having an MA running the wrong route, or like doing some shit like that's just just a terrible feeling. Those those three right there are just like terrible feelings for me. So like I hate my guy making a tackle, um, and I know that like for receiver our blocks turn like 
first downs and a touchdown. So um, blocking downfield is a big part of the game. Like a lot of teams, receivers don't block, but in our scheme, our receivers are a big part of the running game. So like teams like the Niners, who else? Um, I don't know who else runs their scheme. A lot of the teams do, but like the receivers are part of the uh, run game. So, um, so you guys are willing. You guys would say you guys are willing blockers in the receiver room. Yeah, like you guys, you know how you guys harp on blocking after the catch. We harp on yeah. just blocking the whole down. Well, so, so do we. Oh, okay. Yeah, we just, we block the whole down. We just don't, it's not just block after the catch. We block the whole down. So really, yeah. yeah I wonder what so. you guys are ranked. Your run game. Do you know? I don't know. Last year we were first. I don't know about this year. Season not over yet. Yeah, it's a lot so. of ball that's been played, but yeah, yeah. No. So like last year we were you, DJ, Mooney, you guys all just willing, like stick your nose in there type thing. Every one of us, every single one. Talk mm, about. I need, to, I need, I need to watch that next time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, um, you know, I feel like I've watched. I watch some games and receivers don't really want to block. Like, like, like our coach wants to. He always tells us be the best player on the field with or without the ball. So even when you don't have the ball, because you're only going to touch the ball so many times in a game. So, but you're on the field so much more than you touch the ball. So what are you doing when you're not touching the ball? You know. So, um, well, you ever? I know you. You have to chip. You have to chip DNs, right? Sometimes, yeah. Like you ever, you ever pancake? You ever pancake a DN? Uh, no, I know you have once, but don't remember when you're high horse. Yeah, <laughs> I pancake. I pancake a lot of guys. I have more pancakes than you in general. How many pancakes do you have in your career? Too many to count, bro. I've never seen you pancake one dude. Bro, I had a pancake this year. I think. Already, first game back. Broncos. I had two pancakes. Second, and one second play. play. Listen, second, second, second play of the game. Two pancakes in one play. That's all you have. Have you ever had two in one play? I have the same dude. The same dude. No, he got up. No, then he got up. Put him back down. Like think about that. Okay, that's because he's like, yeah, that's probably like I put him down to go the next one because when I put him down, to stay down type shit. So like you know they get up like you try to get up quick. Like you try to catch me. I put him back down. Like you've never done that. I put a nigga down twice. I put him down. down. I put him down to stay down. No, you've never done that. They're not getting up. Like they're like, damn, what the fuck just happened? They're like on the ground. <laughs> the play's going, and I'm trying to get the next guy. Like I'm not worried about the guys on the ground. You know. You ever got? Um, oh, you did. I already asked you about that. The, the Green right. Bay one. You said you didn't get fined on the crack yeah. pack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's kind of like not put. You did not put him down. I put him out the game. No, you did. <laughs> I put him out the game. What do you mean? You yeah, did not put him down. You could have put it on him. You know, <laughs> I put him out the game. You didn't put it on him like you really could have. Kind of like my boy Alan Lazard's. Uh, Play this week, can you see it? Yeah, I yeah, actually just saw it on yeah. Twitter. Um, that's kind of like similar to what I did. I got I got flagged, but just like his, but like it was shoulder to the chest, so he probably won't get fined for that. But it is a flag, like I, that's a well, that's a fine. I didn't get fined, so and my maybe today it will be fine, but like cracked six years ago, damn, my rookie year that wasn't a fine. Cracking back like that, or like when he's not looking, it's over. It's fine. Is it worth it? I always I want to ask myself, like, is that worth it? Like you see Tyree Kill, I don't know if you see, like he doesn't wear socks. Yeah, and it, you like, know, like doubles, he, it doubles fine. Every right, time. He's, he's still, I mean, last year yeah. he did have tights. But I'm yeah. saying. <laughs> DJ wore tights like, too. He got fine too? DJ last game, yeah, he's like in the in the fines double or they stack. I don't know. So like you keep doing it. Like Tyreek, that's how he got to so, such a high number. And DJ wore tights this game. He's like, I'm not trying to stack my fines. Like if you make that much money, like. I feel like it doesn't. No, nah, it doesn't matter though. Still, it's like it does. That's why they're they're what, doing it. What Tyreek get fined? Hundred thousand? No, no, no. Total of a hundred thousand. Like all his fines. Oh, uh, oh, okay. But still, you look like damn hundred thousand. That's like that's still a lot of money. Like we talking about? That's a car. It is, but I'm saying, bro. Like I don't know like, what is weekly. I don't know what is weekly. Just, check just not to wear socks. Like I, they're high. But put it this way, like if there's a game, wear like, socks. Like. If there's a game that I've circled, like, primetime game, like, and I don't want to wear socks, I'm not wearing oh, yeah. socks. Like, oh, yeah, one game. Yeah, one game. But, like. No, do, like, three games. What do you mean? Do it. Then do it. I'm not doing it. I oh, don't make okay. any money. Okay. <laughs> I'm playing for free. Yeah. Okay. But I'm saying, like, I'm seeing these fines. Like, bro, one of the, I don't know if you saw, uh, the fullback from the Falcons got fined, like, 90, I think, like, 90-something thousand for a hit when we mm. played him. 90? Yes, that would honestly that would break my heart. That's a game check, or more than a game check. It's for most way people. more than a game check. Yeah, that's crazy. Not playing, for, playing for free for a couple games, bro. That's crazy. Uh, like fines are sickening. The worst is like when I mean, like an undrafted free agent gets like fined like in preseason, I think, 
Or yeah, we usually the, the players was to help them cover that, right? I don't know. I just I don't think I've ever had my team have that happen. I'm someone on my team, but I just like see it on TV. Like, damn. Like, I don't know what. Like, they're just gonna pick a free for <laughs> for a long time. Like, yeah, but, uh, but they don't really. You don't get. Fun, you only get it taken out of your check. I feel like if you make the team, right? Yeah, but if you make a team, you're paying for free. Like, that's crazy. Yeah, for like a, for a week so, or so. If I was a defensive player, bro, I would be like. That'll be on my mind every game. Like, if I get fined once for the rest of my career, I'm just like, don't be fine. That's so it's so much easier for a defense to get fined. Actually, I take that back. Hey, I've gotten fined, bro, for lowering my head on some because you're on little. something stupid. Because you're little. No. Your head. Like, what do you want me to do if someone's in front of me? Like, just run into him like, like this? No, shoulder. Don't. He's, no, he's literally he's in, he's straight in front of you. <laughs> How much did you find? And it's, it was after the catch, too, so I caught it. I looked, and he was there. How much was, did you like, find? too late. Like eight thousand. Did you appeal it? Yes, and they said it didn't nothing. Hmm. This is my rookie year too. Damn. Then I got fined last year for my for the pants being too high. They got you I for was that. So hot, bro. bro. I wear my I wear mine on my highest shit. I'm like, bro. They try. It, like, they, they don't really do that this year no more. But last year they, they tried to, to they try to emphasize it. it. Yeah, try to emphasize some shit like that. I'm like, bro, fuck you. I'm not doing that. That's stupid. Bro, like, I was so pissed. The, the knee pads don't do shit anyways on your knees. I'm just shit. saying. Like, what's so, up? And I thought it was weird as rules, bro. This, you know, like, just, like, come on, bro. Thank you to Pristine Auction for sponsoring today's video. PristineAuction.com are the most trusted sports memorabilia and collectibles auction site. Auctions on PristineAuction.com start at just $1. And each day, there are over 1,000 autographed items available. So you win signed, authentic signatures at affordable prices. Now, deals are happening all the time on PristineAuction.com. And they have just about every player you could want, including Tom Brady, Patrick Mahomes, Calvin Johnson, Barry Sanders, and so much more. Every item on pristineauction.com comes with a certificate of authenticity from the industry's most reputable authenticators. Upgrade your collection of signed memorabilia today and get $10 off your first item, one, when you use the code SBB. Again, use registration code SBB, that's capital SBB, on pristineauction.com. Links are in the description. Who's the uh, number one team in the NFL right now, you think? The Lions are in the conversation. You guys are in it. Like, you guys are in it. Are we? <laughs> Don't, why, are you smile? This, why, why are you cheating so hard? Why are you cheating so hard? That, a lot, that, that made you smile. It just sounded a lot different. Like a, That made you smile. Like a few weeks ago, it sounded a lot different. From who? From you and others. And what did I say? I don't know. It just wasn't. It didn't sound like that. What did you say earlier? What did you just say? I said you guys are in discussion. You guys are in that discussion. was not. Like, we were in a discussion a few weeks ago. You know why? Because at the end of the day, you're still the Lions. So that you guys have more oh, to prove. There, I, there you go. I want to hear it. At the end of the day, what? You're still the Lions. So, like, you guys start 5-1, and one, like, and the Niners or Chiefs start 5-1 and one, after the Niners just went to the Super Bowl and the Eagles just went to the Super Bowl. Like, you know, it's, like, a little different. Like, When the Niners go to the Super Bowl, let's see if you even know this. They went when they played the Chiefs in Miami. Oh, how long ago was that? That was three oh, years ago. Yeah. What are you like? What are you three, talking about? What do you mean? Three, four years ago. That's still that recent. was a long time ago. And every year they're in the fucking NFC Championship. Like, what do you mean? So, so let me ask that again. So, like, there's no more. Obviously, there's no more undefeated teams in the NFL. Obviously. I don't know if you you watch. You obviously, keep up. Ob I don't obviously. know. We watch football. Obviously. Um, but who are like some of the top teams you think? Like, if you had to, you know, off your head. Niners. Mm -hmm. I put them up there. Um, Eagles still, even though they lost. Mm -hmm. Um, you guys, Chiefs, us, yeah, the Lions, yes, you are the Lions, yeah. correct? You guys, Chiefs, yeah. No, I'll tell you the top team. I didn't hear. Who'd you say? Niners. You Niners. Huh? Niners. Uh huh. Chiefs. Uh-huh. Eagles. Uh-huh. There's one more team I'm forgetting about. I say Eagles already? Yeah, you did. Damn. The last thing that slipped my mind right Wait, now. Wait, how many 5-1 teams are there? Do you know? I know it's four for sure. Maybe five? You said what? Oh. Niners 5-1. Uh, I, I, I was talking about record. I was talking about the best teams in the NFL right now. 
but like you should. Yeah, I was talking about the best teams. Niners, so, Eagles. I'm asking you, who's five and Chiefs. one? Oh, who's five Chiefs, and one? Chiefs, Niners, Eagles. Oh, Dolphins. Yeah, you forgot the Dolphins. Oh yeah, Dolphins are top team too. Yeah, Dolphins too. Yeah. And would you say us? The Lions? You guys are on like you guys are on the cusp. Like you're you're in discussion. You're in discussion. Like, like you're like, when you watch like, this, but like, Chris, wait, like when, you, when you watch this play, like it's like damn, like they're actually good, or it's like ah. I'm like you guys are solid. You guys are solid. Like if you guys like, were what makes team, us good, like what makes us good? Like, I want to hear from your, you, off, your offense. Your, your offense. And our then, defense is good, bro. Do you no, know our defense is ranked no, like number one? No, yeah, your defense is playing good too. That's what I'm saying. I was just talking in the locker room to one of my teammates. He's like, damn, Lions are turning around this year. I'm like, yeah, because we always knew. Who you guys said that? Good. Like, who, who's over here talking? Like, who's this? Lucas Patrick. He said because I told him. Who is that? Who is that? Our center. I told him because you guys have a, a good offense. We always knew that. But last year, your defense was talking. This year, your defense stepped up. So, it's helping you guys out. Um, but if you guys were like a top team, you guys wouldn't be underdogs against the Ravens this week. I, I would think. You know? Like, this is the NFL. You know, you know how that but, goes. But if, if the Chiefs were playing the Ravens, they wouldn't be three-point underdogs going in. The Niners, they wouldn't be underdogs. You know? They, those teams are not well, I'm, like, I'm confused. What does that have to do with, like, the actual game that's being I'm, played? No, I'm just saying. You asked me like, like we were underdogs in the, we were underdogs at the Chiefs week one. I understand that, but you guys like said, you guys said you were a top team. Like I'm like yeah, you guys are in the discussion, but the Niners going like the Niners playing the fucking Ravens, they're not going to be three point underdogs, you know? Like it's just so you're almost not, there. You're almost there. You're almost there. You're almost there. So every week is like something new with you. So like, what do you mean? You guys are fucking. It went from there. like yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, like, so, yeah, you're getting, you're getting there. You're so getting there. If we keep winning, like what are you what are you going to say? Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to give you a props, obviously. Like, what do you mean? So, we have to, how many more times do we have to do it for you to be like, yeah, they're one of the top teams? If you guys go, like, 10-1, and one, top teams. What if, what if we're 9-2? and two? I don't know. We got to see what the other thing, like, who you guys lose to, what your games look like, close games. Did you get to get lucky? Like, you know, who knows? Like, you know? Like, we beat the Chiefs. What don't you? I'm, I'm I understand. They, they didn't have Kelsey. I understand that. It was still, it's week okay. one, though. Like, okay, they didn't have Kelsey. Like, week best. one, you never second, know. Like, they're second best player that makes their offense go. They didn't have Chris Jones either. That's who. It was an asterisk win. Remember that? It was. So. So. If you guys played him again, would you I, guys I beat guess him? you're I right. Know. I guess you're right. If you guys played him again, would you guys beat him? I don't know. Apparently, we're underdogs. We'd be, another, we'd be underdogs again, right? Against the Ravens. We just lost to the Steelers, by the way. Who did? The Ravens. When? You don't watch football. When did they lose to the Steelers? What, you lost week two weeks ago. What do you mean? I don't remember exactly. Ravens. They, they lost to the Steelers recently. Two weeks ago. Correct. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. They yeah. just beat the Titans, though. So they're, they're feeling that's, good. That's, that's the Titans. Boy, well, the Titans aren't. They're not bad. They're not bad. They're not like, you know. And London, like, as, a, they're, they're as, a Chicago, as a Chicago Bear. What do you mean? You can't really say anyone's bad. And we're not great either. But I can say other people are bad too. They're just like us. <laughs> <You know? laughs> uh, oh, anyways, shit. I know you don't, like I said, you don't watch much ball, but who's your best rookie rookie wide receiver right now? I mean, it has to be Puka, right? right according has, to, yeah, according to the stats, yeah, it's Puka. Yeah, it has to be. Like, but let me ask you this. If you, I don't know how many targets he has, but if you had... I know. I think he has like 50 catches. If you had, say, 65, 70, if you had 70 targets right now, how many how many catches do you think you have? Yeah, a lot, of course. Obviously, his scheme is helping him out, but like that's part of the game. Sometimes you're in a bad scheme for you, like like Kelsey. He's in a good scheme for him. Like maybe he's on a different team. He won't be doing as well. Like he's a good quarterback, good well, scheme. Kelsey's getting open on any team. He is. No, I know, but maybe he, if he has a different quarterback, maybe he can't just run the routes. He just runs wherever he wants. Like. You have a different quarterback, you can't do that. Like, and it'll mess him up. But with Patrick Mahomes, it works. So like, yeah, best rookie receiver, I got to give it to Puka. He's been balling. Yeah. You know what's crazy? He was actually going to – when I was at SC, he was getting recruited by SC, and he was – I think SC was one of his choices. Like, he was on a fish or something. I Where's he from? I, a, I don't know. Uh, I what, race, say, what race is he? I want to say Utah, but I don't want to mess this up. Let's see. I think he he is from I 
Yeah. He's from Utah. Mm. Was he a high-ranked receiver in high school? He was, yeah, he was pretty high. I think he was like a four-star. Okay. Went to UW and then transferred to BYU. He was at UW with... Um, Julius? Yeah. What did Julius say about him? He's a good player. Mm. Yeah. I mean, he is. Yeah. He's, he's balling. What do you think yeah. about um, Julio Jones to the to the Eagles? I, saw, I literally just saw it today. I mean, Eagles, you know, they're obviously trying to win the Super Bowl. They won last year trying to stack it up, trying to get whoever they can to, you know, win the Super Bowl because they definitely have a roster to make it. I mean, obviously they made it last year. So, um, yeah, they're trying to buy, uh, go on like the Rams did a couple years ago. So I don't blame him. I think that's going to be like a trend of teams that are good. I feel like that's the wave, bro. Going, going in on one year. Late in your career, like, if you're like him, yeah. don't go to no OTAs. Don't Just go to no training camp. Yeah. Don't play at the beginning of the season. And then once a team, like, a good team is rolling, you play for them. You never won a Super Bowl. Yeah, true. Obviously, that's a great move by him. That would um, be crazy. HelloFresh. With HelloFresh, you can skip trips to the groceries. Um, you can always count on Fresh to make it easy to get groceries on the go, to make sure you don't have to go outside the house when it's cold outside, or you don't have to worry about if you're getting the right stuff, good products. You, you know that with HelloFresh, you're getting the right stuff. That's why it's America's number one meal kit. Um, when it comes to options, honestly, more is more. So that's why it includes more than 40 options um, and over 100 add-on items to choose from every week. Um, HelloFresh takes stress from the meal time by delivering fresh ingredients and easy requirements and recipes right to your door. Um, this fall, skip the extra trip to the grocery store and have dinner ready in no time with America's number one meal kit, HelloFresh. Um, and it's especially uh, convenient, you know, um, for me, when you're after a long day of work, you're tired, you don't really want to, you know, get in the car and drive to the grocery store or you open your fridge, you realize you don't have what you thought you had in there. You just go on the app and download or get what you need from HelloFresh and it delivers pretty quick. So um, it's very convenient for a person in my position and probably for most people out there. Go to HelloFresh.com slash 50 Brown Bros and use the code 50 Brown Bros for 50% off plus 15% off the next two months. That's 50% off plus 15% off the next two months uh, when you use the code 50 Brown Bros at HelloFresh.com slash 50 Brown Bros. America's number one meal kit. Raiders, Bears, at Bears. Devontae Adams, good to see my boy again. Raiders are favored by three. Yeah. Is that, so that's normal, like other teams, you guys being like, you know, underdogs? Because I know you, that was a big emphasis, point of emphasis for you. Lions are Ravens favored by three. I would say that's pretty normal given our records. Don't you say? Whose records? Ours and Raiders. What's the Raiders record? They have like three wins, I think. We have one. So they're favored by three. Yeah. Unlike your situation. At Chicago. Yeah. Unlike we're your at we're it at Baltimore. Matter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Yes, it does. Bro, you guys are five and one. What's their what's the Ravens record? They're four and two. You guys shouldn't be underdogs. I think they're four and two. <laughs> I guarantee you everyone is hammering the lines. Everyone's betting on you guys right now. I guarantee hold you. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, they're four and two. That bro, they're four and two. Like they lost their Steelers, bro. I don't hear it. I, I guarantee it, everyone is betting on the lines. Nah, right. now it makes more sense to you, huh? No, everyone's betting the lines. I guarantee you, no one's gonna bet on the Ravens to Bro, the Raiders cover. are at Chicago favored by three. Yeah. What do you mean? We only won one game. That's normal. Is that is that not normal to you? I mean, right. I don't know. Where's, where's the confusion? You you love to say that we were we weren't favored. Yes, that's because you guys are. Lying. Oh, they're four and two, and they're and at Baltimore. Let, let me just say this. Let me just say this, so you understand what I'm saying. If the five and one Raiders, I mean, no, five and one Niners went to Baltimore to play the Ravens, they would not be three point underdogs. That's all I'm saying. You don't. Don't, know. You don't know that. I don't know that for a fact, but I. Pretty sure. What what are the two point one point? No, like, it would be fucking Ravens would be underdogs, bro. You under you don't understand this the league. Like, did you not see what happened? Like, I understand any, that anyone can win. Like, I I, I know that. That's I why they, that. that's why they're like. What that. I'm saying what I'm saying is, 
the Chiefs would not be three point underdogs if they played the Ravens at Baltimore. Bro, you don't know that. I don't know that for a fact, like I said, but I'm pre if, if I had money to bet on it, which I wouldn't, I would say they would. Okay, well that's you. Okay. okay. How much? How much impact? I think. I think, I think a lot of the fans. Are sounds good. Too. Sounds good. Sounds good. Yeah. Mm-hmm. How much impact does a guy like Max Crosby have against? How is your guys' O line? Solid. Yeah. Because I don't know I if mean, you see Max. I don't know if I you got, see Max play. That boy's engine yeah. is different. Yeah. So boy, Max Crosby is gonna like change up our like our. We have more chips probably. You know, you're gonna have double teams, all that. Like it changes up your whole. You scheme around like guys like that. You scheme around like Aaron Donald. Like guys like that. You scheme around like you need. Who's guarding teams. Tay? Double, you mean? Double team. He's breaking the double. Double team. Okay, I, I don't care. We better. I don't know. I'm not on defense side of the ball, but we better double team. So I come to practice this week and I see that we're not double teaming number seventeen in the red jersey in the scout team. I'm like, what's going on? I'm like, we double him. Some is guys. He, is, is he is he is he like that? Yes, bro. Some guys you need got double. Like he's, he's one of those nasty. guys. You got double like. You want to win the game. I mean, you double him. I'm sorry. Let me ask you this. Did he get better from when you first got to Green Bay to now? Because I feel like you saw him when you see him. You've seen him now for like six years. So, like, have you seen, like, do you see him getting better? Or, like, has he always been this this good? He's always been that good. But he he hasn't gotten better. better. He always has gotten better. Okay, so he's gotten better. Yeah, but, like, he's always been nasty. Like, I asked him, like, I asked him when I first got there. I'm like, bro, why aren't you, like, more, like, why, why aren't you a bigger name? He's like, honestly, I actually got to put more years. I got to stack more years because some of the credit goes to Aaron Rodgers. I mean, if you have to make your quarterback, like, you got to stack more years. Because he's, but right when I got to him, like, this guy's different, bro. He was fucking nasty, like, unguardable. Like, Jair saying he, like, he was strapping over practice. Such cap. Such cap. Devontae was cooking him, cooking everybody. Oh, my God. Yeah. It was different. So. Back to the Ravens, underdogs. Are you surprised by that? You know, I never we're got... not. We love, we know. Wait, wait. We love I'm being not, underdogs. I'm not saying you love it. I'm saying are you surprised by that? Nah, not surprised. So, 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 you, so you thought you guys were going to be underdogs going this game? They're a good team at, in Baltimore. Like, you, you didn't ask my question. question. So you thought you were going to be underdogs going this game? Correct. Anyways, that's low confidence in your team. Um, it's fine. We, what you don't get is this is how we like it. Like you saying we're not a top team. Like we love that. Like yeah, we don't want it. Like I'm not saying we don't want to be a top team, but like <laughs> it sounds like, like he, it sounds like you want to be people. Every people game. like you saying that we're not is what like you feel me? I'm, I'm, I'm not go, saying you're not a top team. You're definitely oh, not a top. Oh, what's what are you saying? Now I'm listening. My ears are open now. Okay, what's top to you though? My like, ears are open. What what what's top team? Top that's, five. That's vague. Top five. Top five. I say you're five. So we're a top team to you. Yeah, but you shouldn't be fucking two point. That's dollars. crazy. Fucking Ravens. Why is that crazy? You were not talking like this before the season started. We might have really? to re- we might have to rewind these episodes and get a little. Anyways, and play that real quick. Long season, boys. Long seasons. It's time to break out my favorite jeans, t-shirts, and sweatshirts from True Classic. And with football season in full swing, there's nothing better than watching your favorite teams in these ultra comfortable, perfect fitting essentials. Um, I actually, you know, can go in a game in these. I'm not watching these game. I'm playing in the game, so I can pull up to a game. You know, I have my. I don't wear too much, too many fits to the game. Uh, I throw a true classic tee on and put my um, my team, you know, team issued gear right on top because I like to go to the game comfortable. With true classic tees, you know, you're getting the best quality. They're using all the best uh, fabrics to craft their tees. To make sure that you feel great all the time, no matter what, what the weather you're in. You could be humid, hot, cold. You're going to feel great in their T-shirts at all times. So it's always good for me, especially being in Chicago, going from warm weather to cold temperatures. Uh, it always, you know, never too hot, never too cold in the T-shirt. And for a limited time, they're giving out list to our listeners 25% off their first purchase at trueclassictees.com with the offer code Brown Bros. Uh, man, finding, you know, quality T-shirts for me <laughs> – could be a struggle. It can be a struggle at times because I match mean, something that's comfortable. Um, I'm not a big, you know, design on the t-shirt guy. I like him plain because I can wear with any fit. And trust me, True Classic Tees is perfect for that. I mean, I can throw it on with jeans. I can throw it on with 
sweats, whatever it is, and it goes with any fit. So that's why I really rock with those. Their comfort jeans are tapered just right with a bit of stretch in all the right places. So it's never too tight around that area, if you know what I'm saying. Uh, and they come in a range of colors to fit any mood or occasion. So you don't, you don't got to worry about not having the right color for a certain occasion or for a certain fit or student, certain shoes you have. Uh, and then when it comes to the sweatshirts, their hoodies are are perfect. And the crews will become your to go on casual Fridays or game days um, or any trips to the gym or any kind of sports activity you're doing, playing basketball with your friends, going on a hike, things like that. They even have 100% risk-free guarantee and easy returns. So if you're ready to make the easiest summer upgrade, shop now at trueclassictees.com and save 25% off with the code BROWNBROS. This fall, step into a world of style and comfort with True Classic. I don't want to talk about UC Notre Dame. You probably didn't watch that game. Obviously, I watched like the first quarter. I had to go to dinner. But I was watching the stats, you know, watching the updates on my phone. seeing how I follow Notre Dame, you know, seeing the highlights and stuff. You You're watched happy. the game, right? You're probably super happy, huh? I mean, no, I, I already knew we were going to blow you guys out. Did you watch the game? Yeah, I watched it. Oh, what happened? Um, give, give, give me a little recap since I didn't watch it. So, you know, your quarterback, well, you know this in the league, whoever wins a turnover battle most likely wins the game. There's mm -hmm. a stat that, you know, mm -hmm. one of our coaches did. Mm -hmm. And I don't know that, but I don't know the exact numbers, but I think 80%. Well, what's eighty percent? If you want to turn over a battle, yeah, I know that. But I'm saying, I'm saying, if you have three three more turnovers than your opponent, I think it's no one in the league last year won a game with three with more than three turnovers. You know what I'm saying? Uh huh. So we had Captain Caleb through three picks. Mm -hmm. You guys, I believe, had zero turnovers. I believe. I didn't watch the whole game because I had meetings at one point, but. You guys, so that's playing, that's off playing bat, football. playing huh? better football. That's playing better off football. bat. You guys, like you should have won off just off that. Don't throw picks. Hey, it it happens. Okay. When you're was the best, pressure? when you're the, was it pressure. Was it the pressure? You think when you're the best, the when you're the best player in college, like, come on, bro. Yeah, he's not gonna do that. He, he's not gonna be perfect every game. But three though in the first half, and I'm not gonna say all all of them were on him too. All I know is when you come to Notre Dame, you play there, you better come ready. I don't think USC was ready. That was your guys' Super Bowl, huh? No. We played oh, Ohio State. We played Ohio State. No, we played Ohio, Ohio State. I watched Ohio that. State. No, Ohio State I watched, beat no. you guys on your I, home no. turf. I watched that game. Put this way. I watched that game. I didn't watch this game. Let you know. Stop. I watched You Ohio guys State couldn't game. wait to beat us. Oh, bro, we're not like your on whole, ESC. your whole, your whole alumni was tuned bro, in. Like it's a Super school, Bowl, forty-eight twenty. Like it was even close. I, that's not, that's not a real, bro. I watched the it's game. Not, yeah, what do you mean you watched the game? We fucking like, it was close. You all fancy guys special teams. Fucking whoop, wiped you guys. Stop it, Zach Ryan Branch almost took a punt back, and we you guys took a kick almost. Back. Yeah, we did. We didn't almost. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, but we, we act like we didn't do anything on special teams, bro. You guys, you, look, look, you, look, you, you look, you're, you're I'll give it to you. Are you, wait, are you guys playing Washington and Oregon this year too? Yes. Both. So let me ask you this. If, 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 <laughs> SC beats, if SC beats both of those, would you consider them like in back into the top four? No. You guys are cooked. Your season's you mean, over. Bro, you don't need to watch over. football. Or you, or you better hope other teams lose too. Because Wa Washington is very good. Have you seen them play? No, I have not. Have okay. you? Yes. You watched the full game? Washington versus Oregon. There was this last you, weekend. You watched the full game? I watched most of it. What's most of it? Like the last two quarters. Yeah, so you didn't even watch it. Go ahead. I'm saying saying? We play Washington, we play Oregon. If we beat Oregon, who's a good team, mm -hmm. and we beat Washington, I think mm -hmm. we have one more big game. No, that's probably another team. If we you beat those two, see and then we win the, say we win the pack of championship, mm -hmm. we beat, that'd probably be Washington again or Oregon in the pack of championship. Pac mm -hmm. championship. So mm -hmm. if we beat those three, and we go undefeated the rest of the year. Would you consider us in the college football playoffs? If you guys are done, you guys lost two games. You guys are already cooked. Like, I don't know, man. Georgia, Georgia's gonna be in it. Michigan or Ohio State, one of those two teams are gonna be in it. Maybe both. You know, if they go undefeated and then, uh, nah, no, they're gonna play each other and then. Who else? Florida State. If they go undefeated, they're gonna be in it. They're undefeated. Yeah, Oklahoma. If Texas goes, wins out, they'll be above you guys too. 
If Alabama wins out, they'll be above you guys too. No, Alabama will not be above us. If they win out? Yes, they will. They're gonna have to beat Georgia, I think. You're right, they won't they won't beat Georgia. But imagine if they lose if they beat Georgia. If they beat Georgia, yeah, Georgia's gonna still be in it. Georgia's in yeah. Yeah, you guys are not doing shit. You guys are cooked. What are you guys doing? Like why why are you so focused on us? What are you guys doing? Your shit's over. It's just cooked, bro. All this hype. What are you guys doing? All this fucking hype. You guys are the same fucking team you guys always were. Fucking what are you and what are you guys? Little guys. Just little guys. What are you guys? Fucking USC killers, what we are. (laughs) Like, what have you guys won? (laughs) USC killers. When was the last time you guys won something? We went to fucking playoffs like two years in a row, like a couple years ago. Bro. What do you mean? Like, what are you talking about? Anyway, oh, and we had, hold on, hold on. And we had three fumbles. We lost two of them. So, yeah. wait, let's okay. get that clear. We had better that's, ball security. Let me. That's five turnovers. Yes. That's and fucking, you only beat us 48 to 20. You guys are butt mean, cheeks. What do you mean only? That's a blowout. That's not a blowout, bro. That's a blow, 48 to 20 is a blowout. Five turnovers it's a blowout. and 48 to 20. It's a, it's a blowout. It's I promise. If you watch the game, it wasn't like you that guys are fucking blow. You guys suck. You guys are ass. Do you, you even know? Name me. Let me ask you this. You guys can't beat us. Name your Sorry. two losses. Name Notre Dame's two losses. Louisville and Ohio State. Nothing to say. So, so you know your losses, huh? Nothing to say. <laughs> no, nah, I'm surprised you know uh, Louisville. Uh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Uh, uh huh. Uh huh. I can't wait till Caleb just goes nuts. Went to second Heisman. Like, yeah, what is it? It's perfectly playing. What is it? His nails, fuck, ND or some shit. What is it? No, I don't think I said that. Oh, never mind. Shut the fuck. Okay. I, I, I wish. I hope it did. Yeah, that worked out well for him. Wrap it up, kid. Wrap it up. That's it for us on the St. Brown podcast with the 33rd team. I appreciate you guys tuning in, checking us out. Um, you know, I have to give my brother some, some shit talking because he deserves it. Um, but like I said, we do have more guests coming. You guys stay tuned. I know you guys want a JMO. He's going to be here. I promise. Um, but make sure you guys check out St. Brown Brothers podcast, wherever you find your podcast, um, at the 33rd team. That's it, man. Peace out.